What's going on? Jorge Tapia here once again, aka J Tapser, coming to you. You know, just chilling from my room. And I just wanted to share with you real quick what I've learned recently. Thank goodness to one of my friends that actually pointed this to me. I was making a post on Facebook and the post said, Happiness 101. Detach your self worth to other people's opinion of you. So basically, what that means is that if you want to be happy, if you want to be happy with a capital H, not the feeling, not the emotion of, oh, I feel happy, I feel sad. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about happiness as in like being okay with however I feel about myself. Being, feeling well, feeling comfortable in my own skin. That's the kind of happiness with the capital H that I'm referring to. So if you want to be happy, I realized that it's all about detaching my self-worth, detaching how I see myself, detaching my self-worth from other people's opinion of me. So whether people think of me in a negative way, a very negative way or a very positive way, that doesn't affect how I feel about myself. That's what I mean by it. And one of my friends, he told me that he he commented it. Everybody was everybody was agreeing, right? And this guy he was bold enough to say, or you can learn to love that part of yourself that attaches yourself to other people's opinion. So you, basically, he said that I can learn, like yeah, what I said was true, but also I can also I can also learn to love that part of myself. The part of myself that gets affected by other people's opinion of me. So, how do I explain this? So people will judge me, right? And then I feel judged. So he, what he basically told me is that learn to love that part of myself. He told me that. He told me to learn to love that part of myself. The doesn't like it when I get judged. So when I get judged, I don't like it, right? So he basically told me that I can also learn to love that part of myself. I can also learn to love that part of myself that doesn't feel comfortable being judged. That part of myself that feels, cause like me personally, when I get judged, I don't like it. So I disown that part of myself. That part of myself that gets judged, I don't like it. I'm gonna I'm a run away from it. So what he was saying is that instead of running away from it, that I don't like being judged, it's more like, oh, being okay. Learning to love that part of myself that doesn't like it when I get judged. So when I get judged, learning to love that part of myself. So if somebody's judging me and I feel, I feel judged, if I feel judged, instead of because how, how I would go about it my whole life, it's like, if I get judged, I'm just gonna like pretend I, it didn't face me or like actually be bothered about it. And I wouldn't like that. But now what he was, he was basically saying is that, okay, if I react to other people's opinion of me, learn to love that because I fucking hate it. He basically said that, hey, okay, you hate, you hate parts of, so, okay, as human beings, we hate part of ourselves because the way we're conditioned, the way we learn to grow up. Like for example, if I was feeling sad, um, if I was actually crying, my sister would, let's, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about, okay, how I'm learning to love myself. So every time I catch myself being intimidated, which I fucking hate, I fucking hate when I get intimidated. I fucking hate it when I get nervous, when I get sad, when I get angry. I fucking hate that. So basically what my friend advised, what he advised to me is to learn to love that part of myself. So whenever I get in, feel intimidated and I don't like it, learning to love that. When I feel nervous, when, I, when I'm walking out and about and I see a cute girl and I get nervous, Instead of running away from it and saying that that's not okay, 
let me hide that from the world. Let me hide that from myself. Instead of doing that, now it's more like, oh, I feel intimidated. And I wanna, and I wanna, I feel intimidated and I don't want that. I wanna disown that. I fucking hate the fact that I get intimidated. Learning to love the, learning to love the fact that I get, learning to love the fact that I hate feel intimidated. Learning to love that. So whenever I feel intimidated and I hate that, I've been learning to like that. So I caught myself. Uh, today, I caught myself, for example, I was feeling intimidated. Like, there was this dude, like, he looked very intimidating. Like, you know, he wanted to, like, you know, be somebody's butt. And I felt intimidated, and I didn't like that. And I was trying to, I was trying to pretend, like, to play cool, you know, like, to play cool. But then I was like, you know what, like, th that's pretty awesome. Like, the fact that I, I'm trying to play cool, then... And also the fact that I get intimidated, that's fucking cool. So I've been learning to love every single part of myself. So think of parts of yourself that you hate. For me, for example, when I get intimidated, when I hate also, I hate that part of myself. When I hate, I hate the fact that I hate. So I've been learning to love that as well. And then also feeling sad, feeling angry, feeling frustrated. I hate those parts of myself. And it's a, it's a it's a long journey so far. I barely started today and yesterday actually. A little bit yesterday, mostly today. Being more focused on this. Because my friend shared this with me yesterday, so anyway. Thank you so much for watching and um drop down in the comments if you got any questions. I'll try to answer them. Otherwise, have a beautiful day and I'll I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.